When people face tragedy or significant suffering in their life, they often express gratitude for their faith that they've been given. They describe faith as an anchor, as a guide, as a solid foundation on which to live. People of faith often wonder how others without faith make it through life's hardships and heartbreaks. So important is the guidance of faith, the truth of faith during these difficult times. The letter of St. Peter that we just heard describes faith as more precious than gold. Hardship, pain, tragedy, suffering help us to appreciate this gift of faith, the faith that enables us to understand and to have confidence. Without the faith, these very difficult events in our lives make no sense. And even with faith, they often do not make sense. But we have the trust and confidence in God that he's with us, most especially during those times. On Wednesday of this week, we embark on our 40 days of Lent, a grace-filled season during which our faith deepens. The gift grows more precious. A man approaches Jesus and is interested in inheriting eternal life. Jesus tells him to go sell all that he has and give to the poor. The young man went away from Jesus sad, for he had many possessions. Giving away his possessions and, and following Jesus was not, something, were not something, was not something he was able to do. And if we're all honest with ourselves, most of us would find it difficult to do that too. It's easier and sometimes it seems more reasonable to place our faith in possessions rather than in Jesus. To have faith like that to which Jesus invites this man, that faith is the work of grace. It's impossible for us to achieve this on our own. For it is a gift, and gifts are not something that we earn or achieve. It is a grace that brings us to faith, to that faith whereby we trust Jesus more than our possessions. Lent is a season of grace. And during Lent, sometimes we mistakenly focus on our own strivings and efforts, giving up this, giving up that, or making a sacrifice of some sort, all of which are good things to do. But Lent is not a season of spiritual or moral Olympics. Rather, as a season of grace, Lent is about what God accomplishes in us through grace. During Lent, we have that special time to allow God to effect the marvelous things in our lives, especially growth in faith, something that is impossible for us to do on our own. But with God, all things are possible.